Welcome back, folks. But before we get into the intro, I'd just like to thank the patrons, Felix Morn, Thomas, Outhouse, Militiaman, Jens, Irwin. And uh, I also wanted to ask if you all would be... So obviously, some people are interested in seeing the Sunday challenges, their Sunday slash Saturday challenges. I'm curious if you want to do a series. I was thinking like a similar to like a road to glory type of thing like i was thinking that you'd you'd give me a deck and i would try in top 16 before i can switch to a new one so like obviously i'd start off with the rock try and get a top 16 finish i was planning on doing top eight finishes but that that's a little bit more difficult and takes more time so uh just curious on your all's thoughts and let me know in the comments and i'll see you all in the video Welcome back, folks, to another video. We're doing it on Naya Midrange with Luris. And before I get into it, if you'd like, come subscribe. As you can see, we're popping off. I like it. I want to see that percentage go up maybe to like 15%, I guess, is our new goal. But let's talk about the deck. So this is another donation list from Felix Morn. And they wanted to play out some Naya, see how it goes. This is the pretty much all good one drops deck. We got Ragavan, DRC, and Sentinel on the deck. Very good one drops, best one drops in the format. We got a Renin Six and Tarmogoyf, which are, you know, just like probably the two best two drops in the format. Like varying like Murktide Regent technically, but we can't play that. So I'm I'm kind of curious to see how this deck performs. It's also an Urza Saga list because we have Renin Six, we got that value to reaccrue it back. And uh yeah, I mean we have the good I mean we have all the good one drop removals, prismatic ending and holy heat lightning bolt. I'm a little bit concerned about maybe like not enough card advantage. I know Renin Six kind of allows you to do that, so does Urza Saga, but like you know, we're kind of missing out on blue with you know iteration, or, like maybe that fast clock, although Tarmogoyf is pretty fast. I I'm just like a little bit concerned about this. Just there's there's obviously a reason why this deck isn't tier one uh i'm not sure what it is and i'm kind of curious to figure out why it is uh but we'll see we'll see sideboard options good ones i think this is a list where you actually want run afoul you don't have that traditional black removal which i think is kind of an issue i also like bringing an extra graveyard hate because we don't have dothy or anything like incidental graveyard hate other than like technically the soul guide lantern maybe you could run scavengers but ooze is just too slow these days so I'm kind of curious. We do get wear and tear, which is a good option against hammer. We also have these EEs, which I'm a little bit concerned also, like we are gonna be like wanting our EEs on zero and one, but we are already have a bunch of one and zero drops in Saga tokens and all of our one drops. So I, I, I'm not sure if this is necessarily an EE matchup or a deck, I should say, but I, I'm curious to see how it goes. And obviously we have a pithy needle for our Urza Saga, which will be good against, you know, let's say Belcher, some other miscellaneous decks, fine, fine there, but we'll see how this league goes. Blossoming Calm also great against Burn and uh, Belcher, so I'm curious to see how this deck performs and if we can see why it's not tier one, or maybe it is. So uh, I'll see you all in match number one. Welcome back, folks, to match number one. We're getting into it. We're on the play, which is always fantastic. We are Luris. Oops, let me also scooch this over. Where is it? Yeah. Are we keeping this hand? Uh, I mean, it has two really good cards in it, so screw it. It has our sagas and our ends. I don't really know what else you want to look for. So yeah, I'm definitely concerned about Legacy. Not gonna lie. Legacy is gonna be a tough one for me. Ooh, our opponent Mulgan to six. That's good. That is good. We could do the bobble trick. I don't really think it's worth it though. It might be. What would we get? Sacred Foundry? Yeah, screw it. Let's do the bobble trick. Playing these Naya decks. Ooh, like a prismatic ending. Is that good? Uh, I mean, it's probably fine. Not amazing. Not like top tier, but it's definitely not like a horrible like spell to have. Ooh, are we up against uh, artifacts? <laughs> Drawing a card off of Welding Jar, hell yeah. Well, keeping the Prismatic Ending is probably good. Do we have any artifact hate in our sideboard? Yeah, we have some. We have some. We have a decent chunk. Um, Are we actually supposed to like Prismatic Ending this Ornithopter? Like, is that absolutely insane like trying to keep them off of artifacts are always kind of nice right um like i don't really think playing another s for sentinel is doing that much i kind of just want to go saga prismatic ending the ornithopter although that just like that that definitely doesn't feel amazing right but like what i guess we, we could play another s for sentinel instead no uh, i i'm gonna i'm gonna ending this this might be a little crazy but i kind of like keeping them on low artifact counts Resper Sentinel has already done its job like it's fine definitely fine it's not amazing Ooh, Citadel. all right what do we got here cranial plating well see that's one i would have liked to hit but 
Uh, Renin 6 does a pretty good job at containing that card because it doesn't give toughness. Uh, all right, well, let's just fetch for our basic mountain here. We're definitely in a good spot here, right? We're just gonna have big old artifacts. If they had a uh, Urza Saga token maker or whatever it's called, Urza Saga, then I'd be a little bit afraid, but they don't have one and I don't really care. So I guess we're worried about Thought Monitor. Yeah, that's kind of spooky, but we might be able to race it. Might just be able to race it. How big is this thing going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be an eight, eight. It's kind of huge. Or at eight, whatever. Uh, <laughs> well, ending deals with that, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's float a mana here. Let's just float a mana. Get our... Uh... It's our, uh, oh, our opponent's interested. I'm interested what your deck is, just Naizu. Uh, I'll let them know after. Ooh, we could also get a Pyrite Spell Bomb and just deal with the Thought Monitor. I don't think that's better than going Shadow Spear here, though. Especially we get to equip it this turn. The Prismatic Indian play out our Saga. Hello, okay, and equip. I will let you know. Smile. <laughs> All right uh yep and we'll say go i mean i love the, the fact that this esper sentinel is drawing us two cards is kind of insane like that's just absolutely wild to me uh one two three four five six thought cast are we paying the one are we letting our esper sentinel run absolutely freaking wild no this thing what is, it drew what i think it drew two cards and has pumped our construct which is pretty nice a okay, mirror enforcer all right holy shit <laughs> <laughs> oh my god holy crap <laughs> Whew, that's a that was a turn holy shit that was a turn oh my uh we do have delirium good yes uh am i supposed to run out everything probably not that's insane wow that was a turn from them <laughs> freaking what seven they played two five drops and four seven drops that's just like absolutely insanity i hope they don't if they have an urza saga we might be in oh my god stop drawing these draw twos buddy bud i need you to not have these um uh, all right well we don't really have something that like just completely shut shuts their deck down though it's kind of sad all right I mean, as I say, there's no real good attacks for them. Lands? All right, lands good. Uh, we don't have a... Hmm. Let's bring a spell bomb here. We don't really have anything to go... I mean, we can play this Renin 6 here, but it's like... We don't get to play out our stuff anyways, so... I don't know if I'm being clear, but like we don't get to play out the Urza Saga regardless here. So I kind of like just going to combat here. And seeing what happens with my 9-9 nine nine, and I have to attack with my 3-3 three three, so are we fine trading off here probably not we'll just spell bomb one of these thought monitors if they double block to try and kill the DRC okay. right, this is fine with me we get to kill two of their uh yeah that's fine generating the one that I'm not dealing damage to I think they yeah they did that incorrectly they should have waited for damage to happen but that's fine uh now we can crack the bobble freely because yeah our opponent was like i don't know why i did that yeah i don't know either so there's no real reason to keep the bobble around anymore because it's not like it's keeping our constructs out of range i guess we should probably keep it uh i think they just they just didn't think i think they waited uh they just did it because they weren't thinking really like i everyone's done that right just like the you're like oh i do something and you're like well that was dumb that just has no reason oh they're tapping their wink moth Interesting. Uh, so okay, if we full swing next turn, are they dead? Probably not, but they definitely have to make some weird blocks. Ooh, that's good. Uh, all right, so let's lead on equipping. Yeah, I I'd assume they're at least they're at least they're gonna have to make some really weird blocks. Uh, is there a reason to swing with our one one? So let's say if we attack like this, how do they block? They block chump chump. Ah, eh, who cares? Math's for blockers, right? <laughs> Math is for blockers, fuck it. Okay, double block, bonk, bonk, block here, block there, takes, uh, so if we say okay to this, okay, if we pop here, we kill that, okay, how much damage are we doing? Four, six, seven, so not enough. Uh, let's just kill one of these thought monitors. Oh, shit. 
now our thing ah oh, god damn it Ugh. it's always tough it's always tough doing this stuff well whatever it's okay yeah we're still in a good spot we kind of messed up there but whatever i i think the game's over pretty convinced that they're not drawing to anything maybe i mean they've already cast what three thought cast and two thought monitors yeah a companion oh they're just dead in the air all right so we take that down uh i don't think that was really that bad i guess they had a they had an ink moth or a blink moth they could have survived for one turn maybe that was fine uh all right well we definitely need wear tears uh alpine moons are good damn i wish i had like a uh I don't know, like a stony silence or something, but that, that would definitely be weird in our deck. Uh, probably EEs are fine as well. What's not good here? Uh, Ragaman's probably pretty shitty here. Like Ragaman can just go. Uh, Pirate Spellbomb. Okay, Soul Guide Lantern can go for sure. Sentinels are pretty bad too. Like that's, <laughs> there's a lot of bad things here. I mean, Sentinel's probably worse than Ragavan. I mean, it did draw us two cards that game, but like, that's not gonna happen most times. Ending's pretty good. Goyf is fine. Yeah, I think we're gonna submit this and just kind of hope. Ugh. Definitely not where we want to be. I don't know why this opened up, but all right. Look at our starter. I mean, it has DRC and two baubles. I don't think you can say no to these hands. Thopter. Good old Thopter. Yeah, shit. We could honestly just kill the Thopter and like go on mana denial, but I don't think that's really... Okay, the Sacred Foundry is what I wanted to find off the foothills. Mm, any reason to play out our foothills then? Any reason not to? Uh, probably not. We can wait with it. We can wait with it. See what happens. See what our, our DRC do, does for us. No, we definitely don't want lands at this point. I said I, I don't want lands. <laughs> Not that I want lands. Damn you, deck. Ooh, oh, well, I don't know why I didn't crack the bobble. Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay, so they don't have a saga. That's good for us. Uh, we might honestly just go on the the mana denial plan here. It's gonna be kind of hard to do that, but it might be fine. Like go prismatic ending unholy heat well shit okay that's also pretty decent uh and we know they're drawing a spire bluff or not spire bluff a silver bluff bridge bobble and drc are insane for sure like such a good like stupid little combo like it's just kind of nuts uh so they'll technically have three ma i think we're supposed to like it feels shitty to go on the mana denial plan but I'm going to. Oh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, Rune can I, I, I always am very bad with, with names, but how are you doing? How is it going? Right, let me get some water. Let's see. So if we go with a ending here, I think we're supposed to. I'm just like concerned with our hand that we're not going to be able to finish the game reasonably. Uh, I guess we can get a turn. Sure. What are we getting? Oh, uh, we have Delirium here too, which is nice. I guess they can activate Ink Moth as a land? Do we want a bolt? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, are they gonna counter this? No. All right, well, we'll go to our second main. A Vapor Snag, interesting. Uh, all right, let's just play it back out. <laughs> interesting they have Vapor Snag in their list. I guess this is for Murktide region. That, that just doesn't seem right at all, but we'll see. What do we got here? Ah, oh, shit. Oopsies, should have bobbled. <laughs> it's okay. I, I completely even forgot this was on the battlefield. Oops, whoopsies. Well, shit. They name our bobble, that's gonna be annoying, but that's okay. We still have the removal spell for it. It's essentially like removing the ornithopter, which we were gonna do anyways. Um. All right, well, as I said, I think we wanna go on mana denial here. So I think going engineered explosives here on zero and just popping it right away is good. And I, seeing that prismatic ending makes me feel a lot better about this, but. Well, do we want to? They have they have another land. Um, they probably have a seven drop in their deck or in their hand. So can they play that anyways? They have what one, two, three. They'll have yeah. Next turn they can if we don't kill this. But I guess that's fine. We can just like play our Tarmogoyf out. Save this for like uh what should I call it? Urza Saga. Which I mean I guess we know they don't have. Maybe I should have killed the Aura. It's so hard against this deck, right? Welcome back, folks to match number two match number two do i have you got the covids no i don't 
I, I tested negative, which is a very, very thankful. Uh, we're up against a Luris deck. This hand looks very good against a Luris deck, so we'll keep it. Um, how do we want to play this? We want to bobble. We probably want to do the bobble trick here. Probably want to do the bobble trick. Armagoyf. I kind of want a removal spell to be quite honest here. But I don't really want to draw another land, so I guess we'll keep it. Like, I think it's fine, but come play at the PS5 this weekend. <laughs> On Saturday, yikes. Yikes. Uh, all right. That just does not sound like a fun Saturday to me. All right, let's 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 just kill their Esper Sentinel, like whatever. We know they're on... Oh, hello, Riley, hello. We know that they're probably on Hammer Time. There's like, that's the only real deck that plays this, but we'll see. They also have a good removal spell for one of their two drops, like if it's Pure Steel or whatever. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do we have a do we have a hammer opponent? They're attacking us. Fuck. Fuck. Well, this is why we kind of wanted an ending here, but we'll see. Okay. Well, we are in a tough situation. <laughs> you I got koalas. Ooh, nice. Um, we are in a tough pickle. Let's honestly, I think we're supposed to buy Luris this turn. Like, as wild as that seems, I think that's our play here. Like, if they have something, they have something. Am, am I cold? Yeah, I am a little chilly. Oh, Shadow Spear. All right, we're dead. All right, we're dead. We can't beat that. Well, well, folks, sucks to suck, but uh, we this is what we kind of came here for. We got these cards. We have quite a few cards. Uh, we have eight cards for the matchup. Yeah, I guess so. What did I finish? Uh, I think I went four one with that list. I honestly don't remember, it was a while ago. Uh, what do we not want? We definitely don't want the Soul Guide Lantern. Definitely don't want Ragavans. Um, all the removal spells are good here. <sighs> DRC is pretty decent. Um, hmm. You could cut the Renin Sixes or the Tarmogoyfs really. Like, both of these cards are fine, but, like, maybe even the Esper Sentinels. Although, I've heard from people that Esper Sentinel is good against Hammer. I don't really think so, but... I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I'll I'll just trim around the edges. I don't know. I, I've heard that from some people. I don't really know if that's actually correct. But I'm going to believe them. I will believe them. Play first. Hopefully... Uh, our hand is freaking cracked. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. This hand is freaking insane against Hammer. Holy crap. Like, what, what else are we looking for, like, realistically? We don't win this game. I'll be very much disappointed. Okay, we got Springleaf. Alright. All right, let's go get our green white land here. Jesus Christ. I have so many EEs. Uh, okay. Shit. All right, let's play an EE on one here. Get ahead of the curve here. Um, I'm worried. I don't know what I'm worried about, but I'm worried. Well, that's not something to be worried about. Stone Forge, sure. I'm not gonna play a one drop here, I'd assume, but 
Who knows? Cranial playing. Oh, they are playing a one drop. Interesting. Uh, okay. So we could go. I think what we're supposed to do here is go tear the saga. Tear. Cast. Tear. Pop the saga. Then we get to pop our EE and bolt something if we need to. All right. I mean, we're kind of on like the mana denial plan almost at this point. Okay, another spring leaf. Oh, I should have bolted the Stoneforge Mystic shit. Whoopsies. Mistake. That was a mistake. Uh, do we take it? Take our opportunity now? I don't think so. Another bolt. All right. Well. Well, that's fine. We're actually looking pretty good here. I mean, not shocking considering what our hand was. Like, holy shit, that hand was like kind of disgusting. All right, an attack weird. Weird pithy needle. Uh, okay. Let's just make some saga tokens. I don't know what the hell I'm getting here. I guess I can get a Pyrite Spell Bomb to answer the Luris. We, we already have an answer to Luris in our hand, but... This is where having a, uh, a Whatchamacallit would be nice. A Springleaf Drum. I didn't even think about that in this list. But, yeah, that's fine. Yo, Regis, how's it going? How is it going? I wonder what they're going to do here. Honestly, you might just run out our EEs. Portable hole. What are we hitting? Assume it'd be, yeah, the spell bomb. Thought you'd swing by real quick. Well, I appreciate it. Um, am I supposed to sacrifice our spell bomb? I think so. I think we're just drawing a card with it. This might be completely crazy, but. Like, we can just bolt the Luris. We can EE on one as well. Like, that is if we draw a land. Ugh. Always, always painful. Always painful. Uh, what are we doing here? Get the stream set up, do some homework. Hell yes, hell yes. Uh, all right, so, Budge, what do we want to do here? I think we need to bolt the Luris this turn. You know what, Riley? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Maybe I should get some tips. I don't think so. Who, who does homework? Homework's not needed. All right, I think we need to run here, start getting some land drops going. Get our Saga back, or not our Saga, our uh, Arid Mesa. Let's bolt the Luris here. And what do we want to do this turn? We probably don't want to die to Colossus Hammer 2. I didn't even get one though. <laughs> he doesn't want my help. Yeah, thank you, Regis. Uh, what are we supposed to name with this? I think we're supposed to play the Pithy Needle out, but I'm not sure what the f what the hell we want to name. Are they dead? There's no world where they're dead, right? Five, six. Oh shit! Did I misplay? I misplayed. I should have swung, played out all of my artifacts, and see if they blocked. Because then we could have just bolted them and killed them. Shit. Well, I'm bad. They definitely wouldn't have blocked. Bro, a Super Bowl party? Dude, I'd be down. Damn it. That's so bad. I'm so bad. I should have seen that line. Shoot. 100% should have gone swung for the fences this turn. Well, let's name... 
That's my name, Silent Clearing. Like as weird as this is, like strange name, but I think we can hold back one. Yeah, I I messed this turn up really bad. Yeah, we should definitely throw the Super Bowl party. God damn it, that, that was so bad. I'm pissed now. I'm pissed that I played that turn so bad. God dang it, that was that was really stupid. Well. We'll move on. Someone's probably screaming at me to to play it better. Yeah, we'll block. It's okay. It's okay. Sure, we got a hammer. Shouldn't be in this position to begin with, but I think we have them dead here. If they have not, yeah, okay, they're dead. Well, that's also helping. So, uh, hold up. If we play out the spear, this is five, six, seven, eight, plus three is 10, or is 11. Uh, we do have to commit everything to the board and we lose to a Stoneforge Mystic if they have like a path here. So that's probably not right to do it this turn. As, as right as it seemed last turn, it seems incorrect this turn. So uh, let's... Let's get our damage in though while we can. We can do it on two or one. Do we want to do it on two or one? Maybe we just want to do it on one. I think one is just like very much right. Pick up, get our saga back. I guess we can go for it this way. Yeah, no, because we're still one off. I'm I'm just being stupid. I'm just like loving playing this incorrectly. Just loving it. Yeah, there, there's no way we can do it. I'm not playing this EE out on zero, so. Uh, we pop it now. God, we're probably gonna lose this game. I just have a feeling I'm gonna lose for some reason. I have, oh my God. Oh wait, no, that's fine. For some reason, I just like have this like feeling of that that I'm gonna lose here. I don't know why, but I just have this like, just like absolute feeling of like, I'm definitely gonna lose this game. They conceded. Okay, thank God. Oh, play that game so bad. <laughs> God damn it. I had lethal if I equipped spear. No, because I didn't have enough mana. Because I only had two mana left over. You know, I guess I, so like what you could have done there is you could have equipped spear and not played an EE out on one, but I, that's like, what I'm trying to play around there is path and either way I'm gonna lose to path. So like, that's kind of what I was trying to play around. I mean, I'm not sure if it really matters, but yeah, like that, that, that's what I was trying to play around. I, I, I assume that like they didn't have a path, but I still didn't just, like just want to lose to a path or like a dispatch or something weird like that. But I definitely uh, played that that turn wrong. I should have thought about killing them. Urgh, fuck. Definitely messed up. It's OK. It's okay. We still won the match, but I definitely didn't play that, that game perfectly, so. It happens. It happens. Ooh, this hand's pretty removal heavy. Missing a color. Loses pretty bad to Urza Saga. Plenty of good reasons to keep, right? <laughs> Plenty of good reasons to keep, if I do say so myself. All right, bobble, and we hold up Bolt. Uh, I actually do. I think Heliod's really good right now. Ooh, they have a Prismatic Ending in their deck. Interesting. I think Heliod's cracked right now, actually. It just sucks to play online for obvious reasons. 
Like, if I was going to play in a tournament online, because I'm going to play in the one this Saturday online, just because I kind of wanted to play in that one, uh, I would be 100% playing Iliad. Uh, any reason to hold Heat over Bolt? I don't think so. Not that I can think of, actually. I mean, there might be reasons. Oh my god, we have all the basics. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, get our Tarmogoyf down. But I do think in paper I'd be playing that list. Heliod is very good. Like, all the pro black and red cards are just, like, insane. We're getting two for one. That sucks, but... That sucks, but we have, you know, good things. Like, like that card. Yeah, we're supposed to bolt. Oh, maybe I should have ending that because of reasons that makes sense but i think i should have prismatic ending it because now i can't hold up instant speed interaction yeah that was a mistake i definitely should have ending there i don't know why i bolted that that's okay that's okay uh so we, this turn we can bolt the saga token Ooh. Atmosphere. How the hell are we supposed to play this? Part of me wants to like Prismatic ending like a Colossus Hammer or something. I think I want to do. How big is this gonna be? A one, so it's gonna be a two, two, a three, three, a four, four, a five, five. Uh, we can bolt it. Yeah, let's just attack. Whatever, it's okay. Uh, yeah, we should. No, yeah, fuck it. Let's attack. It's kind of like I guess our our Tarmac wave would be bigger than it because the saga is going away. But uh, if they go to equip the shadow spear. We can bolt it. Don't mill yourself after gaining infinite life. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't think I would play an endurance. I mean, endurance is a fine card, but yeah, I mean, it's a fine card. There's no real big cost to it. I think I would rather play. Have your an Esper Sentinel, sure. I think I would rather play something else, if that makes sense. It's all fine. A 6-7 Tarmogoyf? That thing is huge. Holy. Uh, so if we bolt the Sentinel EE on zero, I think that's good. We'd love like something here. That that's something. Uh yeah, let's do that. Don't need a bobble at this point. Pop it. Let's get in there. Alright, so we have an ending for three. Uh, what are we hitting here, more than likely? The guard is aid? God damn it. Do you just have the hammer? I didn't think they'd have the hammer, but I guess they have it. No blocks. Wow. All right. Nope. Oh, that sucks. God damn it. Ugh. Damn. Shit. All right. Well, I'll see you all in match number... All right, folks. We're back here for match number three. Good luck. Have fun. Opponents. Good luck. Let's see. Uh, we're up against another Luris deck. <laughs> I'm like so ready for I feel like this card is just gonna get boring. Luris is just kind of being a little too much recently for me, personally. I'm just like, eh, eh. I'm almost ready for it to go, but it's fine. Decrum Crost. Decrum, ooh. Why, hello there, beautiful. God, I love this card. I hate it, but I love it. 
When I have it, it's a great, it's a great magic card. When I don't have it, it's a freaking awful card. That's the way I see it. Like the card's just super unfun if the other if the, if the opponent has it. It's just not fair. If I have it, totally fair. <sighs> An ending, boo, boo. So what the hell are we up against? Probably what? I actually have no clue what the hell we're up against. Uh, I was gonna say it's probably like a sock. Oh, this could be blue white hammer time. Right? That could make some sense. Yeah, that's probably what they are. Right, that that's like the only deck that makes sense to me. But Prismatic Indian Main might be a little weird. I don't really know. Okay, now I have no clue. Now I don't know. Maybe this is a control deck. I don't know. Either way, I think Run and Six is good, and so is Urza Saga. But what the hell we're up against, I have no clue. Zero clue what we're up against. We have an ending. That would be annoying, but that's... Looks like it's an ending. Okay. Now we just get to play our Saga out and buy Laris' turn, which isn't that bad. I'm guessing this is like a really weird control deck, but I actually don't know. Any guesses are as good as mine. Any guesses are as good as mine, if not better, probably. I would like, at first I thought it had to be hammer time, but then like speaking about it, like what the hell is Prismatic Indy doing in a hammer time list? That is like the better question. So we're up against Jessica Flores. I don't really know, not gonna lie. And they probably have a way to kill our DRC, but like, again, I, I, I don't really care. Like, that's fine with me. Our, our hand is probably better than theirs, I would assume. I would assume that our hand does more things than their, their, their hand does. Oh shit. Bad fetch, bad fetch. Should have gotten a uh, Sacred Foundry. Now I can't uh, cast my Luris. Oopsies. Oopsies. That's not good. Well, shit. That's actually a really big mistake. Making mistakes. It's okay. Are you running on Holy Heat? Well, wowzers. Rest down. Huh. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> well, that's annoying. That, that, that is, that's pretty annoying. Shit. Okay, they have expressive, okay. Oh, is this? No, this, this isn't uh, through the breach combo. Or not through the breach, uh, what's it called? Underworld breach combo? Oh, they have a thing in the ice? What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay. Fine, I, I, I'm genuinely lost. What are we drawing here? Esper Sentinel, fantastic. Well, the Saga did did a whole lot of nothing for us, so that sucks, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, we definitely have to ending this. No real question about it. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern, sure. Honestly, I kinda wanna cycle it for a white spell here. Or for not for a white spell for a white land. Uh prismatic ending shit. Okay, well then we're just gonna play out our spell bomb and our copper line gorge and just like live with it. Uh hmm. Well, the fact never mind. Well, the fact that I messed up, first of all, with the fetch land was a big mistake. So now we don't have Luris online. Which is a problem. I wonder what they're doing. They're probably just buying Loris this turn. And it kind of sucks that, like, we don't have discard spells to, like, fight through that, but... I don't know. There's, there's some issues right now. A Ragavan would be pretty good draw. That's, like, something I'm kind of looking for. 
Who are we just slamming Laris as a two for one? Seems like a bad idea. Well, actually, they can't even play Laris. Never mind. Never mind. Things are fine. The way they tapped is a little strange, but. Ooh. Why, hello there. Well, let's go with the Esper Sentinel to start. I have a feeling that they're on a charm here, so we might as well as get our card out of it if we can. Ooh. All right. Well, we'll get our Urza Saga back. That is good with me. I mean, you technically could get our fetch land back to get a white source going, but I don't think that's like, as I said, not very relevant. Like, I mean, well, it, it is relevant, not since we have a run in six. I didn't say what well, yeah, that, uh, that's from it. It was, it was re irrelevant until we drew a run in six and now it's irrelevant. Like, it's fine. They're gaining control of my Esper Sentinel. Deal. We can deal with that one pretty, pretty easily. We, we have a card on the battlefield. Honestly, I don't think we'll deal with it yet, but like if they play their, their Luris, I'd rather deal with their Luris. Uh, I mean, whatever, you get to draw a singular, singular card. That's fine with me. I'll just spell bomb it. Like, guy looking stylish with the fresh beanie. Hell yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Boating. You're always, you're always being a fan. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. We'll just spell mom it. And then we can Ren Minus here. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks. All right. All righty. Uh, and then we just get to minus our Ren, so like, I don't really know why they stole. It's like, not really a two for one. I mean, I guess technically it is, but. I guess it is technically speaking. DRC, that's a good one. That's a good one. Just play that one out. All right, well, let's say go. I'm just make some constructs. Please, for the love of God, don't have another dress down. That card is terrifying. You're drawing two. They didn't want to steal our, our DRC this time. I feel like if they, if they stole the Esper Sentinel, why the hell would they not steal the DRC? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Kind of curious how many uh, dress downs they're on. They're probably at least on, like, a few copies, I'd assume. At least on a few copies. Okay. I have a thing in the ice. That is terrifying, but fine. Prismatic ending on our rim. Sure. Don't really care too much. Uh, do we think they have a dress down? I'd assume so. I mean, we're not not making constructs though. They probably don't have three spells though. That's that is for ooh, a good one. That is a good one, not gonna lie. So do we wanna go get, I think we wanna go get our Shadow Spear now. And let's start with a Prismatic ending on the thing. If they counter it, we have Unholy Heat. And then we just get to get in there. They can't Unholy Heat any of our stuff, which is great. So yeah, I mean, I think we're in a pretty good spot. And like, if they have three spells here to cast, we can unholy heat it before it flips, so. All right, considering. Considering. I mean, it's technically a two for one, but it's not really that big of a deal. Again, we still have Luris in our hand, so. Sp 
bell pierce fudge all right uh we need to unholy heat now because of i don't want this flipping in response so we need to do it before this removes another counter because if they have like an unholy heat of their own they would unholy heat something flip it we wouldn't be able to kill it because it's a seven eight so yeah I mean, a uh, bolt's probably not good enough. And we have six card types. All right, that's actually pretty good for us too. Like, it, the exchange is not that bad. Uh, also weird they didn't did it all before we even surveilled. So, uh, Tarmogoyf, yes. Yeah, that that doesn't really change much. I would have kept a Tarmogoyf regardless, but I think we're in a pretty good spot. Like, the only thing I'm scared about is somehow dying here. I'm not really sure how it's going to happen. Like, they, they do have a hull of the Storm Giants. So that's... Ugh. Card's good. Card's good. Card is annoying. I mean, we still have a, I mean, we have a DRC, which is huge. So, and we have a Luris and a Tarmogoyf. Ask him how he normally wears it. I normally wear it like this and Riley freaking hates it. I don't know. You, she's like, I look bald. I actually kind of like, I don't know why. It's more comfy this way for me. Tell me if, I mean, if you all don't like it, that's fine, but I don't like it this way. I'm also not very stylish, so that's okay. The usual way is way better. I like it a lot. Thank you. Oh my God. Look at Bo Dingle being a nice guy. All right, let's run out our Luris. Oh my God, it resolved instantly. Yes, he's hype. He's my hype man. He's my hype man. Thank you, Bo Dingles. Um, he's my hype man. Uh, what are we playing here? DRC almost seems worse than Tarmogoyf, but I want to get my value while I can. So let's play it out. Like, I know it technically doesn't kill them, but like, whatever, it's okay. Let me know in the comments, people watching, if you like it better like that. I mean, I, I'll do it because, you know, if the girlfriend says to wear it this way, I'll wear it this way. You know, I gotta be, I gotta wear it the way she likes it, so. That, that's all that really matters, but I, I kind of like it the other way, especially if I'm outside, I'd rather wear it the other way. She's looking out for you, for your comfort. You should be, yeah, thank you. They're unholy heating my DRC. Damn. I mean, I think we're supposed to pop this, but I'm confused why they're targeting our DRC. I think I'm missing something. They must have a dress down here on the instep. That, but that, that doesn't even really make sense. Like, why wouldn't you just kill the Luris? I think the Luris is a bigger deal. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I really don't understand. You kill the DRC, why? I, I honestly have zero fucking clue why they targeted my DRC. Does anyone know? Because I don't know. All right. Well, we're up against control. I guess this is like, I don't even know what the, what the hell we're up against. Like, uh, it looks like it's Thing the Ice, like Dress Down Baloney, which I have a feeling this is actually gonna be a tough one. This is a new Spike Brew. A new spike brew. God damn you, aspiring spike. Always bringing out the dress downs. Dress downs so good against us. Um, all right. Well, I think we want the soul guide lanterns. 
Probably not the spell bombs. I mean, Bolt seems fucking atrocious here. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I don't think. I mean, shit. Like, what? What? I mean, I guess we're leaving a Bolt in. Like, guess is what we're going with. Like, this is gonna be a tough one. Like, I mean, I guess you could bring EE -E in to deal with thing, but yeah, maybe that's okay. Yeah, I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, this hand's good. I feel like every deck I play is like always freaking like getting shit on by uh, dress down. So I'm not like new to this idea, but as a, yep, rolling out at that's a good time. Three p.m. I rolled out of bed at around noon today, so we're on the same page. Around noon, and that's like, that's actually a little bit of a late day for me. Typically it's a little bit later or earlier, but you know, I'm fine with it. <sighs> Turn off auto yields. Let me just, let's let's see what you're looking at here. You got a land on top, cool. Usually at 11 a.m. kind of guy. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. See what we got here land a land uh, well i'm gonna fetch here i don't really want to draw more lands i would like that but uh that's okay running out goif here i think it makes our just you know efficiency a little bit higher than uh playing saga and saying go we don't really get to deploy our hand here at all in any meaningful way maybe i shouldn't have played this planes on one maybe i should have just gotten like a uh a uh, whatchamacallit a temple garden that might have been a correct play because now our hand looks really freaking awkward looks hella awkward but it's okay it's okay i do love that like if you have sentinel and just urza if like, you could have two cards in the bin and have delirium with this deck which is kind of cool saga plus esper sentinel is just like kind of cracked like that but it's okay. It's okay. We'll see. Come on. Play out a thing in the ice. I'd be fine with that. Not really. I, I, I take that back. A uh, thing in the ice is scary. I have a feeling this is a dress down type of turn from them, which is kind of terrifying. Ugh, more lands. Yikes. If I was a betting man, I would say that they're gonna go dress down, unholy heat into thing in the ice, flip it, make me miserable. <sighs> yeah. Well, I guess they're not gonna do it on their end step here, which is good. Ah. Yeah, big time damage. Big time damage. Uh, I guess we should hold up our white here. God, why is this card so freaking good? It's it's actually insane how good this card is. Like, kind of mind-boggling how freaking insane this card is against, like, every deck I ever play. The 5-6. All right, that's good for us, though. Like, I talk about, like, how good Witherbloom Command is. This card's just, like, ten times better than that card. Like, holy shit. Just like the weird applications for this card is just, it's just unfair. Ooh, a sorcery grows this to a six, seven. That's pretty good. So now it's out of unholy heat range. That's pretty good. Any quick thoughts on the recent bannings? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm actually gonna be playing a legacy deck uh, after this. Uh, I guess I guess you're qu asking like if there's any like thoughts on like no bannings for modern. Uh, I mean, wait, did they not? They didn't prismatic ending the one. Okay, they didn't use the one that they exiled. Weird. Uh, I don't think I have any like real thoughts on on the on no bannings for modern. Other than like I'm kind of surprised they didn't talk about like just like even mentioning a companion like the com companion mechanic. I feel like would have been interesting, like just like, oh, we're keeping an eye on it. Just like, 
it's not like it's too good it's just like it like we we played what three games this league and i think all three have been against luris decks or maybe one hasn't but like it's just kind of boring like there there's too many fucking companions like i'm just kind of ready for it to be yeah our opponent said oops I don't know. I'm just kind of ready for companions to be gone. They're just kind of boring to me. Just too many companions everywhere. And like, if you're getting rid of one, you should get rid of all of them, I think. Like, if you're going to get rid of Oluris, it's only fair to also get rid of, uh, whatchamacallit, of Yorion, Obosh, all of them. People can say they're not that good, but... Just get them out of here if you're gonna get one out, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just a little weird that they didn't, like, they failed to mention anything about, about modern. Like, I, I just feel like that's, like, somewhat concerning to me. I mean, like, in my eyes, that, that means to me that they think, I mean, I think modern's in a healthy spot, but, like, I think you're gonna have to ban the companions at some point, right? Like, it's not like it's a, a, a thing that's like perfectly fine. Because I, I, I would say it's like the opposite of perfectly fine. Like you, you just, you, you can't have them around forever. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. A little concerning to me. But do we have a dress down? We do. Boo. Boo dress down. Boo dress down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I think it's a little weird, but I also don't want to like talk about like bans all the time. You know, like it is what it is. They didn't. They decided not to ban anything. I don't think that's like a completely big problem. I think if they're gonna make bans, I also would like a little bit of a heads up because I know some people have like things that they're preparing for. They have like events that they have done and like it's kind of shitty just to be like out of the blue okay there's a ban on tuesday ban your shit like that does that just kind of sucks like that 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 is not right either but uh i think we go with an unholy heat here what happens Ooh, hold up oh no turn off all heels i should fetch fuck should have fetched eh, it's not that big of a deal I feel like being at 14 and below 14 is like the same thing. So, uh, do I want a soul guide lantern? Hate it. I mean, it's fine. Do we have a counter spell? Arm. Okay. Thumbs up. Fine with me. Uh, do we still want the soul guide lantern? I think so. Uh, I should fetch now, though. Definitely should fetch now. No reason not to. Let's go get a green source. Let's get our temple garden. Nope. 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 Bad. Bad Bob. <laughs> Bad Bob. Don't don't play this one. We want to buy our Luris this turn. Uh, don't need a land. Don't need a land. I've seen decks pop up that play Karuga where Lutri has a companion. I think it just matters if the comp is a free roll or an actual. Yeah, I don't know. I, but like, I, I do think like if you need to, if you're banning one, I, I think it would be like fucking crazy not to ban all of them. Like absolutely insane to me. Like if you're not, if you're banning one, you, I, you gotta ban all of them. Like, I don't know if that's what you're saying. That's like kind of what I took it as, but like, but if that's not what you're saying, then I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm just spewing off my information. But, like, I just think it's... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's wild. Like, if you if you don't get all of them, I think that's freaking insane. Like, you just can't do that. Cannot do that. All right, running six, great draw. Uh, We get to go blue or red, green. I don't know why I'm saying blue. Uh, I guess maybe we should get our attack in first. They banned just Luris. Yeah, that was before the change. I don't know. Luris is also, I would say, a tad bit better in those formats. 
just as like a standalone card. And that, as, as you said, it was before the changes, so I think it's a little different, but... King... Sack, 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 sack. Um, what are we doing here? Are we playing our Luris? I'm kind of concerned that they might have a counter spell if they were really loosey goosey about that. So, I think we're supposed to play out our soul guide here. Doesn't feel great, but I'm like definitely concerned that their last card in hand is an Archmage's Charm, and I don't really want to run out my Luris. I think that all would be fine. I just think they'd have the comp Oh, they had Unholy Heat. Well, that's that's also fine. That that also would have killed our Luris, which would have been annoying, but. A land would be sketchy, to be honest. Like, very sketchy. Okay, well, that's also kind of sketchy. I think that's kind of crazy that they just popped that off there. Uh, we're, we're sacking this for a card. Prismatic ending shit. Not a good one. We are up a game, so we can afford to lose this one, but I don't really want to. I would prefer to not lose this game, but... It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like, not much can be done. We have a counter spell. Shit. Dress down, okay. That's annoying, because I could have killed that one, but yeah. Uh, so I guess it's not too big of a deal. If their turn here is just like fire up the hall, we can chump block. Uh, if they drew into like a kill spell, that would be annoying, but it doesn't look like they did. Yeah, that's one nice thing about being a faster player is you never have to worry about the clock. Like I would say that I, I definitely am a, a quick player and it, like I, I definitely lose games because of it, but uh, it's definitely nice to, oops, why is the browser source not working? I don't know why it doesn't say what game we're on. That's kind of annoying. We also have a removal spell for the Luris here. We even have a removal spell for the Dress Down, if we want to do that. Both are, like, reasonable plays. Uh, do we... I don't think we have... Oh, we do have a land drop. Okay. That is fine. We could... T Honestly, if you want, you could, like, exile the Dress Down. And then just not, like, give a fuck about the Luris. That might be interesting. I honestly think I might do that, just to like see what it's like, because I think we're already pretty far ahead here. That might just be bad. We'll, we'll see what we draw. If we draw a removal spell, if we draw like a Ren and Six, I think I'm, actually, I guess you can't do that. Never mind. Yeah, okay, let's play it safe. Red, green, white. You hit dress down, you get to Luris that turn. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's interesting to like think about hitting dress down. It's totally wrong, but uh, definitely an interesting thought at least. Like drawing the the Tarmogoyf definitely makes me think that it's wrong too. But this game's, I mean, this game's pretty over, right? We even have a a good blocker for the hall this turn. And like next turn, they have to chump block with their, I guess they're just dead next turn. There's no, there's no surviving unless they have like a removal spell for the goyf. But at that point, like we'll, we'll figure out what happens. Huh. Have a dress down maybe. No, they would have dressed down on our end step. I guess we're just going to start with an attack here. I'm not really sure what they're doing. They can technically survive a turn, but if they're chump blocking with a hull, like, that's fine. That is fine with me. Paying cost. What are we doing? Are we cycling a shark typhoon? 
Oh no, we're just firing up Hall. Okay. All right. Fine with me. Um. What the hell am I doing here? I think I'm playing Rin. I think we're just down ticking. Oh shit. I'm a fucking dope. <laughs> I should not have played Ren. Ah shit. I got myself. I done goofed. I done goofed. God damn it. Oopsies. I'm so bad. Whatever. Uh let's let's not tick up. Let's down tick. God damn it. I should have probably kept that Ren on top too. God dang it. Played bad, win anyways, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. GG's opponents. Damn you, Tarmogoyf. Welcome back, folks, to match number four. We're getting into it. Uh, let's see. Get another Snipper Snapper. Got Bottle plus DRC and then Goyf and Saga. This is like, this, you know what, you know what I think's crazy? I. How the, f how the hell does Jun play Elvish Reclaimer? Like, I think the card's good, but like, that's just baffling to me. I feel like DRC is like literally just like 10 times better than that card. Like, I just, I think that's like absolutely wild. Let's see what's on top here. Copper Line Gorge. Uh, I mean, we can't bottom a land here. It's not our white source, but that's okay. Uh, okay, we're up against an Aired Mesa deck which is typically either creativity or burn. I'm gonna assume creativity, but I guess it could be the mirror match too. You never know. You never know. Could be burn. I, I would assume it's not burn. Yeah. Steam Vince to me says creativity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, creativity is gonna be a spooky match. Uh, kinda scary. Give him the check. I probably should have swung first. Uh, they, they, they would 100% pop off the block, but uh, probably, I mean, just, just to see what type of opponent you're up against. Are, are we someone that has no fear or not is the better question. I think next turn we're going Tarmogoyf plus Ragavan, unless they slam a run in six here. I guess Runafowl is pretty good against them. Runafowl is pretty good. Uh, ooh, bolt. Bolt's good. Uh, we could bolt base here we could bolt the crab i don't think it's really worth it though i think we're just going ragavan plus uh goif here we're just not even gonna worry about the saga token what the f <laughs> yeah i don't know why this isn't working mtg bot hates me i i will figure it out after this league i hope i swear this this mtg bot just absolutely hates me I, like why it's it's still in here am i playing in a let me just make sure i am in a modern league right yeah, I am. I, I don't, I honestly have zero clue. My name's Electric, maybe, I have no clue. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I know it hates me, it's fine. Uh, what are we getting here? I think what we're doing here is grabbing something. <laughs> I don't know what. We're not making a token, that is for sure. I think we're gonna, we're just gonna bolt this crab and get in. Fire, ice, fudge cakes, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, fudge. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I think we gotta let it go, sadly. Mm -hmm. Whatever, that's pretty good. Fire, ice, fudge. Five sixes, good. Pretty good. So, how much damage can we deal here if we bolt the crab? I think we actually just have them here. Yeah, they're just dead. All right, we got them dead. We got them dead. Unless they have something here. All right. Ugh. Fudge. That was that was spooky. All right. So definitely want the explosives. I think the run of fouls will be good. Uh, I guess there's there's a chance that they're on the Titan variant, which would be kind of spooky, but like fine. So we obviously don't want the spell bomb or the soul guide lantern. Probably don't even want the shadow spear to be honest. Uh, I think pithy needles fine. Where where is my pithy needle? We had a 
Am I crazy? Oh, there it is. I'm like, I swear we had a pithy needle in the sideboard. I'm like, hold up. Uh, okay, pithy needle's probably fine. Uh, run a foul is good enough to just like, if we are up against like the Emrakul variant, then run a foul is freaking insane. Bolts can go probably, probably. Prismatic ending's also kind of weird, but like fine. We are 2-1, I don't know why it it's not up in the top right. Not sure, we'll figure it out. I do apologize for that, folks. I guess I can like write it out. I can add a source here. <laughs> the the worst looking text box, but uh, yeah, let's go uh, record. It'll look pretty abysmal, but it, it's better than nothing. Let's go white. What is this gonna look like? Uh, where is this thing? Oh my God, it looks huge. Oh, oopsies, oopsies. Uh, text box, maybe. Dude, I did it again, did it again. All right, whatever. We'll we'll deal with it later. We'll deal with it later. Apologies, folks. Uh, so we're starting to hand good. It's fine. Doesn't do like a hell of a lot, but it's not. It's also not horrible. So also not horrible. I don't know. I'm just gonna delete this for now. I don't. I'm done with it. Don't know. Oops. That's on. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Turn one monkey. Seems good. Are they f 6 God, if they were f 6 I'd fucking snap off this. Oh, because you know how many times I've had that happen to me and I hate it. I hate it so much, but like, oh, I've done that so many times. So many times where I'm just like f 6 I'm just like, don't have a care in the world. Do we have a run in six is the better question. Uh, it looks like a no, okay. I mean, we have a pretty like set out turn two, so I'm actually not gonna bobble here. I'm just gonna go to attacks, see what happens. Like you could you could 100% uh, bobble there, but I, I already know what I'm doing on turn two, and I'm pretty sure it's Tarmogoyf here, so I don't think it really changes much. Head gone. Our white source here. Go Goifen. I don't want to get the information. Maybe it's not terribly relevant. All right, whatever. Opponent, you're denying us information. I'm assuming they're gonna fetch here. No. Okay. Maybe they're just digging for land drops here. That could also be reasonable. Okay, they have a Prismari command. Okay. Uh, we might actually just snap off the Pithy Needle here. I don't really care if they have a Prismari command, but like, I'm not really sure what else we're doing. I need to fetch first here before I play Pithy Needle. Nope. Oopsies. I almost did it. I almost did it. Uh, as for Sentinel turns on Delirium. Nope, doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what are we naming? Ren? We could name a fetch land. A, a Steam Vents or something. Ooh, they're on black? Not Steam Vents. I meant, uh, Scalding Tarn. I'm gonna name Scalding Tarn. Might be crazy, but I don't really care about a Ren 6 because we already have an unholy heat for it, which will turn on delirium on our DRC in response. And I assume that's what they would do. They down tick on our DRC or Darcy and a steam vents. Well, should have named steam vents. I'm so bad. It's okay. Ooh, a mistress bobble. That's good. Uh, monkey. How do I feel about a monkey? Ugh. I mean, monkey's fine. It's just like, I kind of want delirium here. I guess I could technically get delirium. I could just like prismatic ending a goif here for one. I mean, fuck, I think I'm gonna do it. Do I want the monkey though? That is the better question. It's fine, it's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it, let's put it on top. All right, they're at seven. Here, I don't think they're on the Titan variant. I'm pretty pretty convinced they're not on Titan. I sure hope they have a Scalding Tarn in hand. And like, we're not popping the bottle because I'm not actually sold that I want this monkey. So like, there, there's a world where they play out a creature or something or like an unholy heat target and it's fine and I get to get it away. But I'm not actually sure about that. I'm not actually sure about that. This is so sad. Our opponent says this is so sad. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess he'll take the monkey. I mean, we know it's on top, so. All right, they have nothing, I guess. Ooh, they have a fire ice on top. That's GG, yay, we're so good. Hey, the run of foul, we're so good. Fire ya. All right, they, oh, I thought they conceded. They did not. GG's, GG's. 
So the Prismatic ending our own Tarmogoyf. What a what a freaking play to win us the game, right? What a play. Oh, they had it! Let's go! We fucking named it! That's great! Hell yeah! Oh, that's so good. We named it. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all in match number five. This we're getting into the final match, folks. Final match. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, no, Luris. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Uh, turn one. I might just go Pyrite Spell Bomb here. Let's wish our opponent good luck. Have fun because I have not been doing that, and I feel mean now. Good luck, have fun. Honestly, I might just go basic forest here and go spell bomb. Not really sure what what punishing cases there would be. There are some rewarding cases, but most one drops are X ones anyways, and Ren can uh, ping them off. So I guess if we play against like a what a goblin guide, that would be annoying. Yeah, that would be annoying. But again, who cares? It's fine. It's fine. We can fetch basic mountain and then spell bomb them. Yeah, we're like prowess creatures. <sighs> I don't know. I'm I'm just spewing information here because our opponent's not acting. So we'll see. We'll see how long this takes. Nice that you included fire ice in your silver hand. Am I too young to get that? I don't understand that at all. Silver. What does that even mean? In your deck silver hand? I might just be too young. We're we're gaining the clock advantage at the very least. We're gaining some clock. Oh, they mulligan to six. Okay, so they were in the tank. Hold up. They were in the oh mulligans to five. Well, what are we up against? We're up against up against dredge. So yeah, let's get lucky. We're probably up against Dredge. Oh, nope. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Well, our hand is not that bad. We get to uh prismatic ending this away and feel pretty happy about it. Yeehaw. Let's go. Let's go. No land pass. Cross our fingers. No land go? No land go. Let's go! Let's fucking go! God, I fucking hate Tron. I hate it. It's so good. Oh my god, no land go. Pog champ. Pog champ. Uh, so Ren and Six sucks here. So let's just buy our Luris and do that. Because we need to pressure them. And I don't really think Ren and Six does enough. So yeah. Let's do that one. Folks, who the hell is ready for Legacy after this? Because I sure as hell am not. I sure as hell am not ready for Legacy. Uh, yeah, we're just buying Laris here. Our opponent might be double queuing. They might be double queuing. That could be it. What are we playing, Legacy? I can pull it up for us. Let me pull it up. Yes. We're playing something special. So this is... This is Little Godzilla's deck list that they, they wanted us to play. We're playing uh, this. So definitely an interesting list. I'm curious to see how it goes. I would rather see you play modern. <sighs> Me too. I'd rather play modern too. Well, okay, actually, you know what? Let's We can do a vote here because I have two decks that I need to play for my donation lists. And, I, and I'm kind of, that's kind of why I'm, I'm, I'm streaming it and just having fun with it. We can either do oops all spells or we can do weird legacy stuff. Those are the two decks. What's the legacy deck? It here, I'll post it in the chat so I don't have to pull it up. Uh hold up. Oopsies. This is the, the legacy deck. We could do that or we could do oops all spells. Because those are the two deck submissions I have. And I'm actually kind of impartial with either modern. Oops all spells is so spicy. Alright, you know what? It sounds like you all want to do oops all spells. I can I can uh fire up a legacy off stream and do it then if our opponent does ever let us do something also i do need your all's help with oops all spells so uh that's that's probably fine as well both of those decks would be fine uh all right let's get our temple garden by our Luris. oh did i just crash oh they conceded sweet <laughs> all right yeah no it, it it's gonna be something all right so we have alpine moons we have Pithy Needle, we have Wear Tear, we have, that's it, Cards That Suck, Running Six, and I mean, probably Shadow Spear, I would assume is not that great. And we'll just cross our fingers 
and hope it works. Is is your all's chat even popping up over on the left? Let me see, hold up. Hello. Oh, it is, okay. For some reason, I didn't even think that was happening. I'm like, God dang. My, my stream is real wonky today, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, opponent. This, this person's been very slow. Let me, let me do something that'll make this easier for me. Oops. Our opponent just like, I guess they're double queuing. That, that's my only guess. So we'll pull up the oopsie poopsie spells. The oops all spells list. This is what we'll be playing then. If you all want to take a look and uh, be prepared. I guess I can change the stream title here. To uh, then oops oh, spells. Oh my God, my opponent. Sorry folks. I love playing against slow opponents. It always, it always makes me go a little crazy. It makes me go a little stir crazy. I'm just like, I'm so like, you know, I start a league, I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to, ready to take these dubs and then, ugh, do I want to play a game? To, 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 let's see, to, to, to do something else in the meantime. Oopsies. Uh, what, what, are the, what are those things called? Like the guessing games? You don't know what I'm talking about? Like the, the quizzes? Magic quiz games magic trivia games let's do that magic the gathering should do that trivia questions on trivia i don't think this is what i was looking for. this com. Ugh, this is not oracle that's it oh we're, we're finally in a match okay uh i mean this is probably mulligan right <clears throat> doesn't have ragavan doesn't have anything so Let's mole. Oh, this one's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's put back our second Ragavan, I guess. Wow, we spent 11 minutes and just got in a match too. Wowzers. <laughs> Stop making me go crazy. Stop. Uh, wear tear a little late. My opponent's slow. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Armagoyf, hello there. Well, folks, I think we're dead. Our opponent is just like a player much better ooh a chromatic star uh i guess we're just flooding the board and hoping that uh our tarmogoyf plus drc get there but i have a feeling they're not gonna get there tell them to hurry up oh i will tell them that stop being slow or else i will come to your house and unplug your computer and throw it out the window throw it out the window not that big of a deal ancient stirrings don't you dare show me a ugin don't show me eugene uh, hmm. Honestly, we might just be like, okay, Karn's fine. Did a big water change for Ford and Friends. Moved like 100 gallons of waters and two. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Oh, we have an answer for that one. Oh, yes. Let's do it before our upkeep. Maybe we'll surveil. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, spicy. Oh. I don't know if I just fear, scared everyone, but that was a spicy meatball. Oh, oh, I don't know if I scared anyone, apologies, but oh my God, Urza's Tower. Let's fucking go. Huge, huge plays, huge plays. And a star, don't mind if I do. Prismatic ending, yeah, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Don't you dare play a blast zone. If my opponent plays a blast zone, they got us. Oh my God, the game's over. They're dead. They're gone, unless they have Ancient Stirrings here, but even that might be a little too slow. Or not Ancient Stirrings, Sylvan's Grind for Blast Zone. Uh, so we hit Delirium. They have just conceded. I don't think the game is over, but we take those. We take those. 